The aspect of the users in a mobile network actually is divided into three main parts here in this small sequence for mobile networks. The first part is a question how to identify users. The second is how to do the handover. And the third is how to register to users, how to maintain the user basis in the network. Location register is a kind of database for the users which are allowed to do something in our network. For example, to set up calls or to use data only. It depends on the contract you have or the contract the user has with the network provider. And this user database has some specific requirements. Requirements that come from the desire of the users to use the network with a certain quality. So for example, what is important that if you want to set up a call, then in this user database, in this location register, it quickly should be checked if the user is allowed to make the call, if the user, for example, has enough money on the account to make the call to an outside user or to make a certain request in the data network. Therefore, we need a low delay if we make some requests to our user database. Also, a high capacity is important because we want to serve millions of users in our network. Even in the smallest mobile network, there are millions of users and we have to maintain this user base easily without any performance problems. And scalability is also important for our user database because the number of users change, the number of users might change more or less steep and therewith we might need to scale this user database easily with the amount of users using the network. If we talk about the location register, then the central location register in our mobile network is the home location register. Each network, each mobile network provider has one home location register. That means the provider has one central register of the users which are registered in the network. It persists all data of the user, not only the IMSI, but also the information about the available services for the user and therewith the uh, home location register can support the decision if the mobile switching center sets up a certain connection or not. In this home location register, the IMSI is the primary key for each user. So each user is identified uniquely with this IMSI, with this international mobile subscriber identification. For each IMSI, there might be different numbers registered so that you can realize multiple numbers which then are routed to one IMSI. On the other hand, we also have the visitor location register and visitor location register that does not mean actually that you have visitors from other networks only. You might have visitors in certain ranges of your network. So as you can see here, the visitor location register is located at each mobile switching center. So each mobile switching center has its own visitor location register. And that means that this VLR is a redundant copy of the home location register. So if the user is in the range, is in the area of a mobile switching center, then the copy of the data set of the user from the home location register will be made into the visitor location register and then the mobile switching center can easily request all the service parameter all the services which are available for a user from this visitor location register which is quite close to the msc and this actually reduces significantly the signalization which is required because requesting the home location register takes some more time, introduces a longer delay than just requesting the user information in this visitor location re register, which is quite close to the MSC. In former time, it was actually easier to work with these registers, with this home and visitor location register, because there was no number portability agreement in Germany. And the number portability agreement in Germany now means that you are allowed to take your specific mobile number from one provider to another. Before it was like that, that 
with the area code of the mobile number, the mobile service provider was also identified. So you wanted to make a phone call into a certain network, and that means that the area code of the mobile phone number immediately is able to identify the mobile service provider. So, for example, 0171 identifies the telecom network, and 0172 identifies the Vodafone D2 network. And due to the number portability agreement in Germany, it is now allowed for a user, for a natural person, to move the mobile number, including the area code of the mobile number, to another provider. And then this other provider might have an area code, which in former times was for a different network provider. And that's why the routing of the calls in a certain network now requires a little bit more signalization. So first, it has to be found out which provider is responsible for the very number. And then with the knowledge of the mobile phone network provider for the number, the call can be routed to the destination. And today, this is done with the mobile number portability database, which contains the numbers and the corresponding providers which are responsible for the mobile numbers. So with these location registers, we are actually able to maintain all the user information and also to make the user information available at the point where we need it, close to the MSC, to quickly access the information and to quickly allow users for certain services in the network.